Are you sure you know what you're doing? No idea. Be a learning curve for all of us. Is that standard petrol? Yeah. I'll just, put, I'll just make a brake cleaner in with it. <laughs> what do you think, Dad? I reckon it's about time to get you out of here. We ain't got a face mask that fits you. Silly boy. Silly boy. Silly boy. <laughs> we'll paint you in Berlin. You'd look good in Berlin. You would. Yeah, you would. Who's a good boy? Good boy. Mmm. Hope the Rio don't get oversprayed too much. I might just get a tarp over that. Yeah, yeah, Well, some paint, paint, some paint. To be fair, oversprays a lot worse than others. Red oxide. Red oxide is awful. Awful. While Jack gets himself ready, me and Fit and Matt extract some bolts and straights and bits. Everyone keeps asking where Fit and Matt is. He's here, doing some actual work. I just want to set fire to set tags. Extracting some of this stud that some Muppet sheared off on the exhaust. You're doing a bloody good job. Smoking well. Yeah, so some fools try to take this piece off for some reason, which is also missing, and then snap the bolts in the process. So, Matt, He's going to hot them all up and then hot metal dildo. weld some nuts to it and they're just going to come straight out just like that it always does that well when you're extracting nuts yeah does it never 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 fails never never fails right i'll get the extension lead um, i can't see a thing with these this is awesome welding man How's the tan? Who needs my bear? Have I got welding for that yet? Not yet. This is awful. Is it working? Don't be scared of that. Well, everyone's been wondering where you've been all this time. Well, I've come back, I've done one note, now I'll have another six months off YouTube and now I'll put 30 videos out all at once. What are your 30 videos going to be out on? I've got a new truck. Oh yeah? I've got a new truck. So you're going to do 30 videos on a Ford Ranger? Don't tell everyone I've got, now I can't do a clickbaity title. I'll bleep I? it out, I'll bleep it out. I've got to do clickbait. So everyone's going, oh you've told the Defender, you're getting rid of the Defender. No, or maybe I am. It's up to me. Are you still doing that? Mm. Oh! Yeah, catch that. He's done it, he's done it. Right, now now for the harder of the two. So we're going to give it more fire. More fire? You haven't got that set very well. This is the first time you've used a gas axe. So why am I doing this? It's a knee problem. We actually have got the proper PPE that go over your eyes to stop you go. Never mind. I hope Sam appreciates all this work we're all putting in. If he goes on strike, we do we fix his tank. It seems... well, someone's got to stand around a brazier. Well, have you seen the to-do list? Now, only only Seb would have this on the to-do list for his tank. So you look at it, normal stuff, light the turret, service the L6 to the engine, a bit brazier. I mean, I know he's committed to his work, but he's taking the piss of it, isn't he? Mm. I welded, it held it. What more do you want? Close. There we go. Oh, it's gone. Bomb's gone. Bomb time. Look at that. 
ready for the new exhaust piece. Well done. Oh. <laughs> My work here is done. You got anything to say to everyone that's been missing you? Do what? You got anything to say to everyone that's been missing you? Get alive. No, uh, more videos coming as soon as I can be bothered to sit down. No, nah, that's not good enough. You've got to be bothered. Put, put some effort in. Stop blaming other things and other Who's events. Real job, Joseph. That isn't an excuse. You, everyone, I have a real job. I'm still doing it. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You've never had a real job. That's a good point. I'm going to go put your tools away. That'd Please. be a first. And there it is. Throw out, stuck out all the time. I think contacts in the back of the solenoid stuck together. The moment you add power, she starts cranking and that won't go back in. So hopefully I can take the solenoid to bits and fix this for six and nothing. It hasn't damaged the teeth on, on the start and it hasn't actually damaged the teeth on the throw out. So fingers crossed, should be fine. So, as suspected, it welded itself together, that solenoid out. So hopefully with a good clean up, it'll be okay. That's gone back in now, like it should. So basically, the power had gone through there to that one, um, because this metal plate here what joins them but that metal plate got stuck to them and welded themselves together it's not supposed to do that but after years and years of cranking and starting they start to break down noise right I've now cleaned that best I can I've linished off them terminals and they're not brilliant they could do with replacing but I'm sure it'll last a little bit longer yet. I'm gonna bang that back together and we'll test it, see if it works. Right, that's all back together. I'm gonna to take it outside and test it. Right, we're gonna to attempt to test. Now this is a bit dangerous with, with only uh, two hands, but here we go. Oh. Seems to be working fine. Back on. Right, so I've got the starter back on. Thankfully, Ted was here to lick me in the eye and the ear as I lifted it in, and it was insanely heavy. Yeah, thanks, Ted. Ted, that's, that's a great airplane. Yeah, thanks. Right, so just got. Do you mind, Ted? Just got to, just got to connect the power, the earth, and the exciter. Tighten them bolts up, and we're done. You're a nuisance. You're a nuisance, you scallywag. You're a nuisance. Oh, God. Right, starter's all back on. Batteries are connected. Let's try it. It's a bit, a bit dark in it. Probably better not run it for long as it burned the tarp out. I'll see if it stops. We'll see if it starts.
Well, I think the start is fine. I'm happy with that. That'll do. Fucking air buzzer. I think it looks good in grey primer. I like it. I think it should just stay in grey primer. It's just Arctic. Yeah, Arctic. Yeah. Arctic Chieftain. Yeah. The amount of needle gunning on this thing has been insane. But you can see where it's had various repairs over the years. It's just like they've welded these two bits that hold the track thing in the wrong place. They've had to move them over. That's what it looks like. Whether that's the truth or not, I don't know. You also see various areas on the turret that's been painted that have been had brackets on and then ground off and adapted and changed. It certainly looks pretty cool in primer. So again, this is going to go Berlin Brigade camo. That's the plan. Uh, it's going to take a fair bit of doing. We've got to finish this second coat of primer. Obviously, with the lower half, this is a vehicle that belongs to a friend of mine, Seb. He doesn't want to spend thousands and thousands of pounds, so we're basically going to wash the wheels, needle gun, the rear sprocket and the front idler, clean the road wheels, paint them black or whatever it should be. Obviously the side plates uh, and the bin boxes are off at the sandblasters at the minute. They're getting sandblasted. We'll put the sides on, the bins on, and then paint the whole thing. So we're not spending too much time on the, on the underside. Uh, we're planning on taking this tank to Catrick. Um, there's a private, I think it's a private, um, bit of a military show where you can rag, rag your military vehicles around uh, a proper army training um, ground. So that's the plan. We're trying to get this ready for that. Should be a bit of fun. We also want to try and get the turret working. That'd be nice. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're not we're not too worried about the the underside. I mean, some of the road wheels have got the dinks out, but generally she's she's in pretty good nick, and the tracks are in fairly good nick. Um, so we're, we're just going to run it obviously he plans to use this thing not not just park it up in a shed uh, like everyone else does and never ever touch or use it so this is going to get used and enjoyed so we're just going to make it look nice on the top and the sides and and then actually have fun with it rather than just park it up in a shed never mention it like most people right so that is the primer coat done and dusted got to put the uh I'm going to let it bake now for a bit and then put the heaters on and then we're going to put the gloss on and then we've got to put the base coat of the Berlin colours on which is going to be the grey because that's what there's most of uh, and then we're going to work out how we're going to do the pattern so it'll that's be going to be fun that isn't it yeah yeah be a little bit of um, trial and error yeah trial and error we're going to see if we can spray it on if we can't for whatever reason we'll just roll it on I think but when we'll when are you planning to do the roller in maybe tomorrow Ooh. If we get on all right, yeah. If, well, I get another, if I can get the gloss coat on tonight, then yeah, definitely tomorrow. Well, I think you will do, as long as you don't rip the airline off the wall so again. That's it, again, yeah. Again, again, it's stuck around the lifter. No, but tomorrow we've got to pick up Concrete Chieftain and the Diamond T. Yeah, um, so I'll do a video on that and we'll leave you here doing that. So. Sounds like plan to me. Right, see you in the next video.